Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This slide is probably going to get a lot of attention from today's mega kabam news announcement. It really feels like, if you missed it, that the game has taken another huge shift. Now, I will say this to people who are freaking out, and there are quite a few of them because they've reached out to me in anger, and I am not posting those messages, some of which because they are not suitable for what I consider to be, at least during the day, a family-friendly channel. Um, you don't have to do everything. A lot of people don't do everything. I know plenty of people who reach out to me who are still cavalier. Heck, some are still uncollected. They aren't thinking about Thronebreaker or Paragon anytime soon, nevertheless Valiant, which is going to take me uh, a while to get used to saying. Um, but when you have rewards that depreciate fast, especially things like Labyrinth of Legends and the Abyss of Legends, it's important for the game team to come up with things that are still going to be relevant for the next five years. And Kabam did say in, the, in this uh, live stream, they have plans already developed for the next five years in this game. I didn't think I'd have a YouTube channel still right now in 2023. I might still have one in 2028. Who knows? Uh, regardless, it's it's eye-opening that this company is thinking ahead that far because they know that this game is their cash cow. They know that this is probably the safest way to uh, earn a profit for the game company. And making games is only getting more expensive and we have seen the results of layoffs at Kabam and other companies in the past even year to month. And at the same time, I've heard from so many people, as I've discussed in other videos, and we'll probably discuss in a video later this weekend, about what it takes on the, the toll of players when you keep making a game harder and more complicated. Because this has always felt like a second job to so many, but now when you think about the new Abyss, Deathless Champs, Alliance Raids, and you think, is this even the game that I, I remember playing five years ago? And of course the answer is no. And Kabam wants that to be an exciting no. It wants people to say, this is the best version of this game ever. It was like I was doing Basic Edition in 2018, and now I'm doing Calculus. And for some people at the top, and maybe the most um, heavy spenders of this game, maybe that that's how you keep them. And I think that's really important. But... Uh, in terms of the average player, it's the way to burn them out. It's the way to make it feel like, oh, now this game is a second and third job, and I'm just going to say a hard pass. And that doesn't mean that people are going to retire, but when players get burnt out, it means they spin less and it means they play less, which is the opposite of what Kabam wants for their bottom line financially. So I'm going to darken this screenshot because the most important two takeaways for the economy of the game, we have our first seven-star selector shout-out at Cat Murdoch underscore art as usual. Uh, they're the best art creation, and we've got some crazy good graphics design graphic designers in this community. For a seven-star selector, any champ in the pool, it would be very difficult to know who to even choose. What's interesting about this is they're still not sharing seven-star six stones and seven-star awakening gems, which I assumed would have been the case at least a little bit in the exploration rewards of Necropolis, so that is a surprise, but also really fascinating. Um, so, that is um, part of this, but also the biggest slide of them all that I think is going to age better than anything, and this is for completion. It's this. It's the mastery point. We haven't talked about a new mastery point in what feels like 500 years in this community. The economy of the game has changed forever with Necropolis. And this one mastery point may not sound like a lot, but in terms of its guaranteed value for the future of the game, masteries don't depreciate, they gain in value. Especially when you consider how the bigger champs grow, especially the higher the rarity, the more attack and the more health they get. And so it kind of reminds me of the beauty of uh, the percentage-based revive system, where it rewards you for using boosts before you use them, because the higher health pool, the more health you revive when you use it, even if it's just a level 1, 20% health. And uh, this, is, this is only to get more valuable. So I think Kabam were geniuses here. I know there are people who only like to click on the videos that I make that are critical of Kabam because they like being critical, 
And while that is a human condition that is reflective of thousands of years of our soul, I'm not going to do it with this one. I'm just going to say, kabam, you are geniuses for making this relevant. And I would love to see this more. I would love for this to be a once a year thing where you put out new content that had a mastery point, especially if it's completion, not exploration. And that's the other genius of this slide. Even though I'm sorry, bro, I happened to take a screenshot while you were closing your eyes. And that's what's uh, difficult about taking screenshots of live video. You don't always look flattered. When my eyes are opening, I don't even look that flattering on this channel. So uh, sorry about that, man. But we're going to we're gonna zoom in to kind of take attention off of that to this. I mean, this is... Um, this is the goal. This is this is why I think as important as Valiant or any other goal, you should complete Necropolis. And Kabam, we've been asking this for years. I know we've got other mastery stuff that we've asked for years that you promised that you haven't delivered on. And you're hopefully Kabam Jack's hinted trying to make that somewhat a priority. We've heard it before, so we won't hold our breath in 2024. But yeah, this is um this is a big deal. So are you excited about the new mastery point? I think two. Rank three, seven stars is fair. It's not my preference, but it's a heck of a lot better than three. And 8.3 completion is also very, very fair. So, uh, Kabam, overall, great job with this. That's what I'm most excited about. What are you most excited about in the future of the rest of 2023 in the game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.